Okay, this is an introductory tutorial on how to use the command line interface for the Spirewall Enterprise Level Firewall system. You can find out more about Spirewall at www.spirewall.net. Um, and this is again, this is about the command line interface, which uses Python, has a bunch of Python scripts, and you can get those scripts if you go to downloads. And you can see that there's information here about getting it as a Debian package. Um, you can look at the at the mirror. Of, of the code and all that here. Okay. Alright, enough of this, this, this web stuff. So let's get to the subject at hand. Okay, so now I'm on a uh, remote system. This happens to be Ubuntu 12.04, but it's this remote system that has Python installed. And I do have the Python scripts, which I have to go to where they are. And here they are. So to start it up, you just do Python uh, as spirewall underscore cli.py. And if you do that, and you'll get you know various usage messages on the various command line options as far as starting starting up the CLI. So again, I am remote, so I'm going to have to specify the the host name and the port and all that um, when I log in. So just do that so I can do that is the username and then here for your for your password you can either just type it in or if if you don't want to see it exposed you can just do the dash P here and then you can do the host name which in this case and the port by default unless you've changed it in the configuration is 8001 8001 and we'll talk a little bit about some of the other options later. So you do that, it's going to prompt you for your password. Type it in, and now you're all set. All right, so let's say you don't quite know what the commands are. That's OK. Um, actually, you can just do, um, and it shows you that the top level here is set and show. Basically, set is for changing um, configurations. And show is, is for displaying information. So let's just look at show show for a little bit. Do show. And here's the various show commands you can have. So you just basically just keep on going. And now I have, have this. So I can do... Um, and there I have various system configurations that, that are being shown here. Okay. Um, So if you get the basic idea there. So that, then I can do is show firewall. And again, it's going to tell me my different options are. So I do the ACLS. And that's basically those are the rules that are that are on, on my system currently. And um, I'm just going to do show, see what else I can look at. List shows me the list, my list of groups that I have available. Shows me my list of users that are configured on the system. Shows me my, my connection, where I'm at. That's the address that I'm on right now, my remote address. So you to, and those are network devices that are configured on my system. So you get the basic idea there. And again, show is for displaying information. So now we can look at set. Now we can do set config. And we can do, do these different type types of things. Don't want to do anything too strange, so I can keep this, this uh, running properly for this demo. So I can set a parameter, and here you act basically have to kind of know the parameters um, to know which ones to set. So you can do, and here are the base of the parameters. So we'll do something pretty, um, pretty safe. Time timeout. Which, if you do any work much at all on this, you probably want to change anyway. Let's make 
make it like, I don't know, 800. And there we have that. And you see it uh, got changed, the timeout got changed to 800. So what else we can do is set Some of these um, can get fairly complicated, but again, it, you just keep on going as far as, as you know here, and you stop there, and you hit enter, and it'll tell you basically the options you have available. So what I probably want to do is show, see what we have there, and I might want to do something like... Um, And I got to do it's the move the number, so I just hit up arrow. I'll just do something a little relatively safe. Move rule number one up. And you see the rule got moved, so now I'm going to basically do the same thing because now what was what was zero is now one. I'm going to put one back up to zero. There we go, back back to where we were. So you can do uh, set, let's say set user a list. List, oh, yeah, show user list. Show list of users, so I can set user add. Uh, let's say test user. And that adds the user. So that basically displays the user information that I just, just added. And as I, you can add first name, last name, and all that with the set command. So there's all sorts. That's basically how, how you can set things. And you can do most, if not all, um, operations that you can do with the, with the web interface. You can also do with the CLI. So I'm going to exit out of this. I'm just going to show you some of the other options um, that are available. So I showed you the dash P. The dash S is a save. You can actually save your login um, as a file. We'll save it as a, as a file in your home directory, a uh, hidden file in your home directory. So basically, if you log in without any options at all, um, it, it will bring that your authentication information from that. Um, the other thing I did want to show you is, is the SSL. So I do my the login like this, and it's just basically everything you did before, um, except the port number, the default port number for the SSL, for having SSL, is 8003. You do SSL. And again, it's going to prompt for my password. And the only, and now you're running um, SSL over your connection, um, and you'll notice that you'll see this SSL uh, little um, text there to, to, to indicate that. The trick with that is you have to make sure you change the port to 8003 unless you again have changed it in, in your configuration. Okay. Okay. The uh, test, the dash test, um, that's for the uh, uh, regression tests uh, that we run on Spirewall, the CLI regression tests, and really all that does is it, it the, the prompts a little bit different. Um, and I, well, I guess I can just show you that. And the only difference is to see the, the prompts below, um, where you enter information is below the prompt. Okay, so that is a quick view of the, the CLI. And again, if you want more information about, um, about that documentation, there's user's guides and, and all that here. Um, you can go to www.spiral.net. And that's it.